hello everyone uh, this is my first video on YouTube and uh, we will be installing Prenas on VirtualBox let's open our VirtualBox so let's create a new machine uh, let's name it Prenas VM Prenas is a pre BSD based of OS so let's choose BSD and make it free BSD 64 bit. So click next and let's allocate 4 GB of RAM. Hardware requirements are 8 GB of RAM, but as we are installing just for testing purpose on VirtualBox, then it is okay to have 4 GB right now. Then it is fine this is also fine dynamically allocated now this is the first hard drive on which we will be installing freeness so let's make it a bit larger make it 100 gb uh, around 100 gb is fine so create now we need to attach the freeness iso to our virtual machine so we will be attaching it to the optical drive so it is like uh, you are inserting a cd in a optical drive so uh, click over here and from this menu this may not appear to you but you can click here and browse where you have saved the Freeness ISO and click open. You can see it over here that it is attached now. Then just click OK. And now we are turning over, turning on our PC. Uh, so let's turn it on. It is running. So it will uh, click enter. Okay, one important thing, the moment you click anywhere inside the virtual machine, the, your mouse and keyboard controls will go into the machine, the virtual machine that you have in this window. So uh, let's choose install and upgrade through up and down arrow key. So we have chosen install and upgrade, click OK. It, it is giving us warning that 8 GB minimum hard RAM requirement. So let's ignore this warning at the moment. And this is the 100 GB uh, hard disk that we created earlier. So let's choose it and select it to install FreeNAS. Okay. So now it is asking us to create uh, like erase it and make it ready for press installation so let's choose yes here you do not need to anything enter anything I didn't enter and it worked so here like uh, what is the difference between boot BIOS and boot from UEFI so if you have latest hardware like uh, one or two years ago I just purchased one in last month and it has UEFI support but if you are installing it on a physical hardware that is a bit older then choose boot via BIOS okay so boot via BIOS create a swap and then it will start installing it will take some time to get installed so let's pause this video and I will come back okay how you will release the mouse and uh, keyboard controls from the virtual machine so that you can do things on your host system so it is like right control key so click right control key now you have your mouse control on the host machine and you can click over any anywhere okay once your installation and complete you will get this prompt just uh, 
click somewhere inside the VM to divert your mouse and keyboard strokes and click OK. Here we have installed our Prenex successfully. So let's shut it down. And after shutting it down, we would need to remove the installation media, the ISO file that we attached to the optical drive. So now the virtual machine is turned off. Go to setting, storage over here and you can don't remove this attachment it will just remove the optical drive from your virtual machine we just need to remove the disk not the optical drive itself so click ok and then one more thing now let's turn it on but before turning it on let's make let's let me tell you one important setting that you need to enable and i will let you know later why it is important so in the network tab go to bridge adapter with this adapter we will be able to run the free nest server inside the virtual machine but we will be able to access it through web on our host machine uh, through bridge network so click over start it will take few seconds to few minutes to uh, start so let me pause the video and I will come back okay I just want to share a uh, progress that is happening at the first time boot it will take some time so just have patience and let it complete it may take a little longer in the first run but uh, it won't appear next time you turn it on okay after uh, successful installation and you will get these two URLs uh, from at which you can access freeness so let note these URLs and uh, you can now go to your host machine and just open a browser I'm using Firefox uh, and let's close it and put this URL over here the moment you will click this is the first screen that will show up and let's give some password so give some password over here sign in don't save sign in so we are signed in to our freeness system for the first time and you can see uh, this is the CPU allocated to our virtual machine this is not the CPU that we have on our host system this is the CPU that we allocated to the virtual machine and it is the RAM that we have allocated on our virtual machine and uh, that's it for the installation in the next video we will be adding plugins on this freeness and, and there are several interesting plugins like uh, next cloud plex media server and plex is for, uh, for hosting videos and uh, this is like our internal Dropbox or Google Drive like service. We will install this. I will walk you through in the next video. Thank you. And yes, now you can turn off your virtual machine 
by two ways either through this dashboard click here shutdown or from the virtual machine itself so here if you press uh, like 11 number 11 don't use keypad uh, numeric keypad on the right of your keyboard just use the num numbers that are about the alphabetical keys so type in 11 and uh, click hit enter it will ask you to confirm why enter so now the your virtual machine is stopping it will get turned off and uh, that's it